In this example, we will solve the differential equation y prime equals ky, where k is some constant greater than zero. Earlier we guessed the solution y equals c times e to the power of kx. Now we can find the solution without guessing. First note that y equals zero is a solution to the differential equation, and therefore we'll assume y doesn't equal zero, and we'll write dx dy equals one divided by ky. Now if you're wondering where this came from, if we go back to y prime equals ky, we can write this as dy dx equals ky divided by one, and then from here, we can use the inverse function theorem from calculus and switch the roles of x and y, which gives us dx dy equals one divided by the product of k and y. Essentially, we're taking the reciprocal of both sides of the differential equation. From here, we determine the antiderivative of both sides of the equation, or determine the indefinite integral with respect to y on both sides of the equation. The text shows we get x of y or x equals one divided by k times natural log opposite y of y plus d. But let's show where this came from. Again, going back up to dx dy equals one divided by the product of k and y, we determine the antiderivative of both sides of the equation with respect to y, which I've shown here in blue on the right. We have the antiderivative of x prime of y dy equals the antiderivative of one divided by the product of ky dy. One divided by k is a constant, and therefore we can factor this out and write this as one divided by k times the antiderivative of one divided by y dy. On the left, the antiderivative of x prime of y with respect to y is just x of y plus some constant c sub one. Notice here, the integral undoes a derivative, just giving us x of y, and then again, plus some constant equals on the right one divided by k times the antiderivative of one divided by y dy. And the antiderivative of one divided by y dy is equal to natural log absolute value of y plus some constant. Combining the constants on the left and right, we'll call the constant on the right the constant d. And now we need to work on solving this equation for y. The next step, we would subtract d on both sides of the equation, which gives us x minus d on the left, and then multiply both sides of the equation by k, which gives us k times the quantity x minus d equals natural log absolute value of y. And again, our goal here is to solve this for y. So now we'll write the log equation as an exponential equation. Remember, natural log is log base e, and therefore we have e raised to the power of k times the quantity x minus d equals the absolute value of y, or the absolute value of y is equal to e raise the power of k times the quantity x minus d. From here, if we distribute the k, we have e raise the power of kx minus kd, and we can write e to the power of kx minus kd as e to the power of negative kd times e to the power of kx. Remember, we can do this because when multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents. Which takes us to this line in our textbook, where again we have the absolute value of y is equal to e raised to the power of negative kd times e to the power of kx. Recall that k and d are both constants, and therefore we can replace e to the power of negative kd with an arbitrary constant, which we'll call c. And we can also get rid of the absolute value around the y. In this way, we also incorporate the solution y equals zero, and we get the same general solution that we guessed earlier, which is y equals c times e to the power of kx. So this is the general solution to the original differential equation, y prime equals k times y for some constant k greater than zero. I hope you found this helpful.